The A340 that could have been quite a successful aircraft but completely flopped from a lot of simple issues like being an absolute pencil with four engines. So how does this four engine aircraft jet end up underpowered? The A340 was launched in the early 1990s. At that time, Airbus was trying to break into the long haul market, which Boeing had been dominating with aircraft like the 747. The A340 was meant to be Airbus's flagship aircraft for ultra long distance, something that could go intercontinental, fully loaded without fuel stops. But here's the thing from the beginning, the A340 was kind of sluggish. <laughs> Even though it had four engines, they weren't exactly beasts. The early variants of the A340 200 and 300 used CFM 56 engines, and if that sounds familiar, it's because they're the same that you'll find on the A320. Yeah, they basically scaled up the A320 class engines and slapped four of them on a much bigger plane. Now, to be fair, they weren't the exact same engines. The ones on the A340 were modified and upgraded versions. But these engines were originally designed for narrow bodies, not long haul wide bodies. So four of them could technically do the job, but they didn't offer the kind of power and efficiency you'd expect for a plane of that size. And the result was the aircraft took longer takeoff rolls, struggled on short runways, and wasn't exactly known for strong cloud performance. Pilots sometimes described it as lazy on takeoff. Fully loaded, it just didn't feel like the thrust needed. And remember, long haul routes often mean full fuel tanks and a full cabin, which makes every little bit of thrust count. Things improved slightly on the 500 and 600 models later on though which used Rolls-Royce Trent 500 engines, which were far more powerful and suited for the job. But by that time, the market was already turning toward more efficient aircraft. So why did Airbus just use the two big engines to begin with, like the 777? Well, that's where the second half of the story comes in. Why did it even have four engines? Back in the 80s and 90s, long-haul aircraft needed more than two engines to fly certain routes. This was because of ETOPS, a set of safety regulations that limited how far a twin-engine aircraft could fly from the nearest diversion of airport in case of an engine failure. In short, if you only had two engines, you couldn't go too far for land in case you needed help. That ruined a lot of the transoceanic flights and popular routes. You needed either three engines like the DC-10 and MD-11 or four like the 747, and yes, the A340. So Airbus made a safe bet and gave the A340 four engines. The way the airlines could use it on pretty much any long haul route they wanted without needing to worry about air top restrictions. It was designed with maximum flexibility in mind. At this time it made total sense, but technology moves very fast. So in the 2000s regulation became as strict as it engines got safer. And those big twin jets were way cheaper to operate. Two engines burn way less fuel than four and they cost less to maintain, they're way less. And that's a huge deal for airlines trying to cut costs on long haul operations. So Airbus found itself in a bit of a blind. The A340 had four engines that were less efficient, but two big ones on 747. The older variants, they weren't just inefficient, they were also underpowered. So now you've got an aircraft that was way heavier than necessary, has four engines to maintain and wasn't as powerful as its competition. They cost way more to operate and they couldn't perform like newer twin engines. Not a great option. Eventually, Airbus had to move on and ended production in 2011 with the A340 slowly being phased out of service. So the A340 wasn't an exact failure, it was just how the times of technology move on and everything can suddenly change. It wasn't really Airbus's fault, but if we had the same rule today, I bet we would see a lot more fl A340s flying around. Anyways, what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget about the channel membership for a bunch of parts because those really help the channel. Thank you for watching.